Now let's talk a little bit more specifically about the mistakes you may experience when using electric file in the wrong way. Now in this picture you can see these poor damaged nails with the so-called rings of fire. So technically these are ridges on the nail caused by using electric nail file. It's not located near the cuticle anymore because the nail has outgrown on this part already. But at some point it was on top, right here. And also you could not see it maybe from the beginning because it was located under the cuticle. So why does this happen? Do you remember our four-step formula? Incorrect drill bit could be, but it's rare. Incorrect speed, it also could be, but more likely here we have an incorrect angle or incorrect pressure. So this is another example of the typical mistake. This nail overall is kind of overfiled, but we also see this part here near the cuticle. You see this part, it's technically, we have a drill bit that like went through the nail plate and caused this part that looks like it can be uh, tricky because it looks like a skin, but it's not. It's the part of the nail plate. Sometimes it looks like this. I would like to explain how it works and why it happens. That's why I printed this bit. So this mistake that I showed you just now on the nail, it could happen using any kind of drill bit, actually, not necessarily this diamond one. It could be carbide bit after incorrect shaping near the cuticle. It could be sand band, like it could be anything. But usually it's the diamond bit when doing prep. So whenever you're working, whether it's a diamond bit or carbide, it doesn't matter. Just always think of it as some kind of very small knives or blades that are designed to carefully take a little bit of product or in this case, a little bit of protein from the surface of the nail plate without touching the nail plate, okay? So I, I'm, I'm sorry guys, maybe this example will be like too extreme for you, but I just think, you know, when we explain using something, some everyday object, it will be easier for you. So here I have, I'm not even sure how I'm supposed to call this fruit, it's peach, right? I believe so, it, it just has a little hair, that's why I decided to pick it. So we have a little hair, and you guys all, are familiar with the simple process we do in our lives, shaving, right? I mean, you know, regular shaving, when you just take a shaver. So when you shave, uh, our goal is to remove the hair, but the skin will stay there, right? We do not remove the skin when shaving. So that's why we have this beautiful, like, you know, modern shavers. And they have blades there that are located at a certain angle. And they also have this cushion here, which makes it almost impossible to accidentally cut yourself. So then you do this. And then you have a very nice, smooth surface without hair. So if you will press more like harder than you're supposed to no actually nothing's going to happen just because they have this uh, system here with cushions and everything they will still protect your skin from damaging but when we're working with the drill bits you do not have this special protective system you're on your own um, so once you press harder than you're supposed to you're going to overfile the nail but most important part here is the angle. So once again, these blades are located in such way that they already have a certain angle. And even if you press or, you know, just do something differently, it's not going to change. That's why the angle is so important. But if I would use, let's say, the regular blade instead of shaver, um, I know there's some kind of, uh, you know, the shavers, like a manual ones, right? When they just take the blade and shave, something like this. So if I try to use it 
like this, it's, well, it's maybe not that sharp, but it's still kind of working, right? The hair like is gone and then we have the skin. But once I use the angle that is extremely incorrect and more pressure, oh my God, this is when the trouble happens. Make sense? Okay, so the same thing should happen when you're working with a drill bit, when you're prepping the nails or taking the protein, the leftover cuticle, the dead skin from the nail plate. The angle should be, it's almost laying on the top of the nail plate and it's technically just taking a little bit skin off. Once the angle is like it's, you know, piercing the nail plate or going through it or poking it, then this is where we're going to cut through the nail plate. So let's say you are taking the product off. Yeah, there, there will be no hair then, but the process is also the same. But with the product, our goal is to take the product off, but not overfile the nail plate. That's why you also need to be in control of these layers you are shaving off. That's why the angle is super important. Here on the picture, we can see overfiled nails. And when the nails are overfiled on the top, it's pretty simple to understand, like, what is it? It's more layers of the nail were filed off than supposed to, but why? So when you're taking the product off, most likely sometimes you cannot tell if it's the product or the nail plate already. My recommendation to you is to practice and to learn. And if you do not feel confident, you can, you don't have to take off the product all the way with carbide bit. You can later switch to the hand file when you're learning, but later you will get more practice and understand how to take the product off pretty quickly just by using carbide bit. So here's another uh, mistake. I just showed you ridges from using the bit. So let's go from explanation with the peach and shaver to the actual hands-on video. So I would like to show you how this works on the nails. Okay, so this is incorrect angle. Okay, I didn't do the actual incorrect motions because, you know, I just feel for this model. So when you hold it like this, you are going to file through the nail and end up having ridges. Let me show you again. So when the drill bit is like poking the nail, like cutting through it. And then I turn it on and it will show you the correct angle. So here's the difference. You see the drill bit is laying on the surface of the nail plate and it's I'm taking off only the dead skin. Yes, we are touching the surface of the nail plate, but very slightly, just without much pressure. And this is the difference. But I know that this is a very typical and common mistake because you guys mentioned it a lot when I was doing the polls. But I, I also wanted also to warn you about this technique that dry manicure, some people call it Russian manicure, electric file manicure, it doesn't matter. This is an advanced technique. So if you are just getting started, if you're learning how to do um, how to work with electric nail file in general, please do not start with this one because this is, I will later explain you the levels of e-file mastery. So this is the top one. This is simply quite hard uh, to feel and to understand. So I recommend you first to practice um, removing product or doing fills because it's much easier uh, to understand and safer. Another typical mistake, burns and abrasions. This is the picture of the client that came to me with overfiled nails from the nail salon. So besides aggressive filing and using incorrect beat, there is actually a very, very common mistake that is done a lot that causes this. And this is incorrect speed. And I think at this point you guys might be surprised because most people think that if it's burning, uh, then probably the speed was too fast. And it is possible, but in most cases, what I see is the opposite. The speed was too low. Like on this video, I intentionally 
<laughs> took a very low speed, I think around 12,000 rotations per minute, while the correct speed for this, for taking off gel, should be at least 20,000 rotations per minute. When the speed is too low, you are forced to press harder. So we already have this excessive pressure. And do you know how friction works, right? So we're causing more heat, more heat spikes, so the client feels very uncomfortable. Plus, it is going to take you longer. Uh, so I know it feels easier and safer when you're using the low speed. Like I remember when we learned to drive, right? We do not feel like driving fast right away. We just want to like feel safer. And the same thing when you learn how to work with electric file, you probably want to do it slower. So now I switch to the correct speed, which is 22,000 rotations per minute. You see the difference? How faster it is. So it technically took me like a few times to file off the color and the top coat from the right part, while from the left part it took me so much longer and also it's harder to control on the beat when it's spinning too slow. So this is what happens. So you probably know this. So if you take your palms like this, okay, now you can try this if you want with me, and do this. Well, you're all aware what's going to happen. What's happening? We feel heat, right? This is actually what we do when we're cold. Well, I am from, I'm originally from a very cold country, so this is what we do all the time when the cold season starts. Um, we do this to warm up, right? So it's called friction. This is what happens when we do this. And the exact same thing is going to happen when the speed is too low and you're just doing this and this and this all the time because you're just not able to file off within like four to five steps. You're forced to make so many of them. It causes friction, it causes more friction, it causes um, more heat and well, no one is happy, okay? So when the speed is too low, it's, also, it's the mistake that can lead to overfiled and damaged nails and to extreme long time of the service. Another mistake uh, which we decided to point out is untidy manicure. And even though in this picture, do not worry guys, this is not blood, this is red gel polish. Um, and maybe it's a little bit exaggerated, but sometimes this happens, right? The cuticle, the sidewalls, they are flooded with gel. And it could happen if you accidentally touch the skin with the gel, of course. But also it may happen if the manicure is not very clean. This mistake is called incorrect pressure. So it was hard for me to show this. Uh, but when the pressure is not even, this is what happens. And I've seen this a lot. I call it with my students cheese cheese style of removal, because the surface of the nail looks like cheese now. That's because you do not feel, um, you cannot control the beat very well. Okay, so now I switch to the correct way of working. And when you take off the product, ideally the surface underneath should be smooth. Remember, like I sh explained you, like with shaving, so we're technically shaving the top layers off. But if instead of shaving them off, you see these small um, dots, you know, like the surface of the moon or the cheese, like Swiss cheese, uh, that means the pressure you are applying, it's not even. So what's the solution here? Well, unfortunately, there is now no like super trick. Like I showed you, okay, just sit like this and think about something and the pressure will be perfect. No, unfortunately with pressure, all you can do is practice. You need to practice working with different drill bits. So in our class, we have many, many exercises on that, on tips, on swatch sticks, and you just need to feel how it works. Some people think like, well, maybe that's because I can hardly control my hands or I'm not talented enough or something else. No, trust me. Even correct pressure is all about practice. So the more pra you practice, the better you will understand how it works. Incorrect pressure when using diamond beads is also going to lead to overfiled nails. Incorrect pressure when using carbide bead while product removal will lead to damaged and overfiled nails. Another common mistake is cuts. 
And once again, this is not blood. You know how they um, type it in the TikTok videos, fake blood. Well, it is fake. It's um, gel polish too. But I'm pretty sure you guys are aware what cuts look like. And they happen uh, for different reasons. Sometimes the, dr the drill bit may be incorrect. The speed could be too slow. Um, and the pressure also is like not, um, it's not even, right? So if you press too hard at some point, it will lead to a cut. But in general, I would identify this mistake as no system. So when you're doing whether it's dry manicure removal, you have to have a certain system. So here I'm showing you when you do not have one. So you just file a little bit on the left, then file a little bit on the right, then switch to another um, area, right? So it just looks very chaotic. Um, and it's also bad for the time of your service. It's going to take longer, but most importantly, it leads to mistakes when you do not have an understanding which area I need to work with first, which area needs to be second, and so on. There also should be a certain system, let's say with product removal. So if you work like a printer, so you know you just try to take off the product, let's say from left side to the right one, that's okay. And I'm not saying the system that I teach, that I have, that I show in my classes, that I show in my videos is the perfect one and the only one out there. Of course not. Um, it actually doesn't matter which system is, but there should be one, which means when you're taking off the product from one nail, it should be the same, um, the same technique on the same one and, and next one and so on. I've done these mistakes too. So when I started practicing with electric nail file, who was my main model? Myself, of course. And oh my God, I did this overfiling on my nails so many times. And honestly, at first, I didn't even understand why it's happening. I'm like, I could see that something is wrong, but I didn't realize why. So I had to go through a lot of trial and error until I finally realized that it's about like angle and pressure when it comes to... Um, when it comes to this problem. 